Hello, my name is Michael Prokopow. I'm a professor at Oak Edge University, and I'm one of the Nuit Blanche curators for 2016. I'm Janine Marchessault. I'm one of the curators for the Nuit Blanche Toronto exhibition, Oblivion. I am one of the founders of the Future Cinema Lab here at York University, and what we are doing is we're researching screens. As an exhibition, Oblivion is expansive, challenging, and poetic. A lot of people talk about the apocalypse. Well, Oblivion is after. The apocalypse. It's after the end of the end of the world. Three artists explore states of nothingness, states of being, the processes of going from something to nothing. Uh, Philip Beasley, the great uh, architect who works with living systems, is devised um, an ocean that's made out of recycled textiles that are animated in such a way as to become this sense of an ocean, an ocean which is furious, an ocean which is wondrous, an ocean um, in which we may get lost. Director X using scientific data and this remarkable aesthetic sensibility presents the death of the sun. Scientists tell us that the sun will one day die. Obviously it's millions of years from now, but it's a fact that Director X wanted to contemplate. And what he's narrating is essentially the death of the sun. And this is all uh, material that's taken from NASA and from visualizations that NASA has produced about what the death of the sun will actually look like. Floria Sigismundi looks at a more internal state of being, the type of transformative occurrences that happen in the psyche, metaphysical uh, metamorphosis. The first time that a water screen will be presented to the public, uh, she has envisioned this um, film that will be uh, a journey of transformation metamorphosis. It's called Numa, the breath of life. And it, it has a type of uh, elegiac quality, namely the journey that all of us take towards the end of life, maybe at the beginning of life. And what she wanted to do was essentially to think about the human body, to think about cosmic experience but grounded in the human body and human experience. And her piece is all about um, transformation and transcendence. This is not a, an exhibition area that is manifestly environmentalist. It's not manifestly ideological. It is about science and life and other things. And I would hope that people coming to it might ponder their place in the universe, the fragility of it, the responsibilities of, of being here, and their, the implications of not being here.